We are learning that the killing of Bambi Larson might have been the result of a botched burglary. KPX Files on Ramirez was in the courtroom and joins us now live with new details. Len? Well, the 24-year-old suspect in this case said nothing during his very brief time in court today, but prosecutors outlined the case against him in court filings and said that they could be seeking the death penalty. Carlos Arevalo Carranza was surrounded by his court-appointed lawyer and an interpreter as he was formally charged with murder, burglary, and mayhem for the killing of Bambi Larson. Our office will hold him fully accountable for this brutal murder so that he can die in prison. Prosecutors released a statement of facts for the case saying the man appearing in several neighbors' video surveillance is Arevalo Carranza walking the street up to Bambi Larson's home at about 4.30 in the morning on the day of the killing, February 28th. The statement says Larson was found dead of stab wounds in her bedroom and that when they arrested the suspect, he had the victim's Kindle tablet and her cell phone, plus a seven-inch knife believed to be the murder weapon. The statement also says that Arevalo Carranza's boots matched bloody shoe prints located in inside Larson's home. The defendant is charged with one count of first-degree murder and two special circumstances of burglary and mayhem, which make him eligible for life without the possibility of parole and for the death penalty. Prosecutors are still deciding if this will be a capital case, but they say Governor Newsom's moratorium on the death penalty in California will have no bearing on their decision. It is under consideration, as Mr. Ramos said. Bambi Larson was a 59-year-old manager in a Silicon Valley biotech firm. Her family issued a statement thanking the police department, which connected the suspect's DNA to some T-shirts with the victim's blood located near the crime scene. The family said, quote, since this is an ongoing criminal matter, the family will not be making any comments at this time. We thank the community for their support, thoughts, and prayers, and ask for privacy as we grieve the loss of Bambi. Mr. Arevalo Carranza is due to be back in court on May 17th. It is expected at that time he will enter a plea in this case. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.